I want to get your opinion. You know, you was around Puffy, you was on Bad Boy. You know, looking at this lawsuit, Cassie, she claims that her and Diddy had freak off sessions where they would get a male. You talking about the freak off session where they used to do in the studio and all of that over different entertainers' houses and stuff? Where they be having them parties where they won't invite you to? And they'd be like, we having a party tonight, but this ain't your kind of party. You'd be like, yeah, I ain't going. I don't want to go. Freak off parties? When you go in there and it'd be, uh, yo, let me tell you something. We used to go in the club. We go into the nightclub, right? And we go and get to the VIP. Or all of these girls come around the VIP and they just be standing there. And like, let me tell you something, man. I'm going to get back with you. We got to rewind this back. We used to go to the, when we go to the club, we used to have these bottles, right? And on this bottle, they'd be, they'd be regular Moet bottles. On them bottles right there, they'd be to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they'd be like, don't touch them bottles right there and only drink them bottles right there. So we already knew what the drill was. You just don't mess with them bottles, right? Then all of the girls is in the club after a while. They all running, look, opening up their mouth like little birds. He just run around just popping pills in their mouth. Pop, pill, 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 pill. And then that was the party. But all of the females that was in it, that's what they wanted. That was what party. It was part of the hip-hop culture. We ain't see nothing wrong with it until Bill Cosby got in trouble. He did one too many. Man, look. <laughs> I used to, let me tell you something. I don't mean to cut you. This funny. I used to, I used to, you know, we used to be on the road, you know, you'd be like, yo, let me go over to my puff room and see what they doing. And you knock on puff door, he'd be sitting there damn near butt naked. You ever just had a grown ass man answer his hotel door butt naked and they'd be like, come on in. You'd be like, mm, I'll come back. You, you ever close your eyes, you'd be like, I guess you're not presentable. And then walk away because see what happens is if they be like, come on in, and then you come on in, they be like, this man just came into my room. I'm sitting there butt ass naked. I told him to come on in, and he came on in. You be like, so what's going on for the day? Acting like you don't notice he there naked. You be like, bro, put some clothes on. What are you doing? Walk. I don't want to see you naked. Grown man stuff. Yo, that's kind of disrespectful. So when you get, that's that's called the test off. How you make sure you breaking in. Yo, call, call the artist up here to the room. Tell them I'm going to have a meeting by my tub. He be in there by the tub and stuff, soaking and stuff, butt ass naked. You be like, how the hell am I supposed to have a meeting with a nigga butt naked in the tub? Nah, man, I come back, man. Let me know when you presentable. That and then freak off parties, freak off parties, man. Listen, I'm not an angel. I ain't never did nothing morally incorrect, but I definitely not. The girls definitely have my share of pretty women. And being famous, it just came with the it came with the life, but also what came with it was a lesson. Also, what came with it was you know what you can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and still expect to find somebody to true to truly love you. That right there, those kind of parties kept me from finding somebody who who really cared about me, and it took me to leave those kind of parties, those kind of people, all that energy alone. Just to, to even better understand me. That's what I did. That's why I've been. That's why I, I totally vanished from everything and said, you know, I'm going to be a better man, a, a stronger man. And that's what I recommended that he do. I'd be like, bro, it's time for you to be a stronger, a bigger, a bigger person. But he still wanted to remain minute. And that's what's happening to him today. See him. Yeah, that's wild, man. Him opening up the door naked, man. That's weird behavior. Yeah. You be anytime a man's naked around you and they feel comfortable with being naked around you, you know what I'm saying? You be like, something ain't right, man. What do you you know what I mean? You know I knocked on the door, you knew it was another dude at the door. Like when I knocked, you know what I'm saying? Then you can just go open the door, come on in. Walk with his butt out. You know, ah oh, nah, I just closed the door. I I see you later, bro. I guess y'all not ready for the day. So that's weird behavior.